Hi everybody, Jerry from Hobby Wholesale. Thanks for joining us again. Today we're gonna to talk to you about uh, remote control planes or RC planes as, as most people know them. A lot of options out there, a lot of great things depending on uh, what level of uh, experience and skills you have, what level of uh, project um, ambition you have as well. Most prominent these days are going to be your styrofoam planes. Uh, the majority of them, particularly some of the larger ones, are going to be made out of the uh, uh, EPP or EPO, uh, the type of foam that's basically in the bumper of your car. So quite durable and they're able to get quite a bit of uh, nice detail in them, which allows them to give you just a wide range of, of vehicles to choose from. Uh, the remote control planes that we carry or offer come in a variety of different sizes, um, starting from your beginners, your trainer planes. Uh, we've got some more uh, acrobatic or uh, scale looking planes. We've got some high power jets and things like that. And for those of you that want a little bit of an extra challenge, uh, we even have some of the old school kits. So something like this one here is a, a, a kit full of a box of wood, basically. It's laser cut pieces with a set of plans. And you basically construct this plane, cover it and set it up um, for your flying needs or for display if you choose. Uh, a lot of these can be built as either a gas or nitro or something like the electrics, which are becoming much more prominent. Um, the gas and nitro aren't as popular anymore. The majority of what you're going to find as far as the styrofoam planes go are going to be electric, uh, battery powered. As an intro today, I thought we would show you something like uh, this Sport Cub S. Uh, this is a relatively small plane, so nice and manageable. Price point isn't too high. Uh, this is one of the styrofoam planes and it's a trainer style, high wing, a little bit slower, allows you to react and uh, get used to the plane before you uh, take off. Everything you need comes in the box. This one here is a ready to fly. However, a lot of the planes today come in different configurations. So you'll have the ready to fly, such as this one, plane, radio or controller, battery, charger, and in some cases we'll even give you uh, batteries for the radio. Some of the larger planes will come as uh, what they call a bind and fly or a plug and play. So those are planes that are almost ready to go. You put your own either receiver and radio with it, or uh, in the case of a bind and fly, if you have a Spectrum brand radio, you can just bind it right out of the box. And then quite often for those, you'll need to purchase uh, uh, some sort of a battery or charger as well. Uh, one thing that's great about a lot of these planes nowadays, uh, they offer something called safe. So in this case here, this one has it, which is sort of a panic recovery or a, uh, a panic button. So if you do get into trouble, uh, they have gyros and accelerometers built into the receivers. And that will sort of uh, get you out of a lot of danger when you're having some issues and as you're learning. Also as part of the safe, a lot of them have different flight modes. So depending on your skill level um, or courage, uh, the different flight levels will restrict your movement or what you're capable of doing, uh, just depending on what you're comfortable with as you progress and learn through the hobby. If you have any questions or if you're interested in flying, come on by. We can certainly show you uh, a bunch of the options that we have available. Give us a call as well. Um, and again, if you like what you see or if you're enjoying the videos, certainly subscribe or like and uh, we'll try and bring you more stuff. Thanks very much.